looks kind of big, okay? Why bring that up? I had to be sure, because I had to put that together. How'd that go for you? Good. I remember that I was crushed to find the king. Well, I remember that, too. The king helped save everything by staying on the other side of the door to darkness, I think. Mm -hmm. You got it, Goofy. And me? I'm looking for Riku. He was with the king when the door closed. Hmm. I guess there's no way we'll forget the most important memories. That's good, because I don't want to forget. I bet Riku and the king are still together. That'd probably be accurate. We gotta find the king soon. I know I'll never forget that. And then for part two of the cutscene, probably. Yeah, I don't know why they split it up like this. Intrigued by this Sora kid. Are you telling me you're not Larkseen? <laughs> Haven't decided yet. I think what intrigues me more is. Were you seeing him? There was a time he became a heartless. And if one becomes a heartless... They lose their minds and their feelings. They're consumed by the darkness. Right, but not Sora. He held on to his feelings even as a heartless. And there's only one other man who's been able to do just that. Ansem. It's the strength of his heart. That's what interests you. Why the Keyblade shows Sora's heart. To unlock the mysteries of the heart. Isn't that the organization's mission? <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, I wonder if there's anything we forgot Hmm. If we did, what would it have been? I don't know, you would have forgotten it. I can't think of anything, so maybe that means that I really am losing my memories. But whatever they were, they couldn't have been very important memories, right? Right. Or else I don't think you would have forgotten it. Look. What is that? A good luck charm Kyrie gave me. It's special to her. So I promised that I would return it. I'll never forget making that promise. It's why I could never forget Kyrie. Well, what's going on here? Kyrie? The blonde girl. What's she doing here? Do I know? That girl? Hey, Sora! Where did you go? Sorry. Never mind. We better keep going. Strange things going on. Let's continue on then. Alright, so we've done Wonderland. We've done Olympus Coliseum. I think our next stop is Agraba. Which this one can be annoying. Kyra will be really happy if you find Riku and bring him home. Don't you lose the good luck charm Kyrie gave you. Yep, Agrabah should be next, and then Monstro, and then Halloween Town. Because I'll do them in the order of the first game, even if they're not specifically that order. Up 
Look, Sora, someone's in trouble. It's Aladdin. We better do something. Now, in this world, this is a... Uh, mind if we help? Thanks, I thought I was done for. This is the first world where we get a new friend summon. So, we've had Donald and Goofy summons. Now, we can have Aladdin summons fall from the sky as well. Yes. All right, let's deal with some punks. In fact, I don't think I've... There we go. So, this is the Aladdin summon. He'll run around with a sword. And of course, if you stack multiple of those up in one go, then he'll do it for a longer period of time. Oop, we have a green one. The green ones heal, so you need to get rid of them quick. I think they're called a green requiem or something like that. There we go. Oh, we and as I said, he'll do that for a longer period of time if you get a higher level card. Uh, we'll do this. Or not a higher level card if you stack multiple of them together. Now, the thing with Agrabah is... A lot of the, well, this one specifically, since it's the opening, is a whole, like, onslaught of, uh, Heartless at one go. But that's how it was with the original game as well. Um, specifically with Agrabah, though, a lot of the random battles just have a crap ton of Heartless, which can make it a little bit difficult. But usually the Heartless are pretty weak, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, um, the biggest issue is the bosses. The bosses can be a, a semi-pain in the, the rear end. Just because uh, of how specific they are with where you need to attack. Um... Specifically, the Jafar battle. Jafar uh, has level 9 cards. And, well, some level 9 cards. And you have to attack the lamp. And uh, the lamp is very... Not only is the lamp difficult to get to to begin with, you can end up trying to finally get up to the lamp and attack it. And then, all of a sudden, oh, Jafar's used a higher level card, and now I'm stuck, and I missed my chance to actually hit the lamp that I spent forever trying to get up to. So it can be a pain, specifically with that. Alright, we're getting you up to 500, and then I'll get my max HP up to 300. I think that's how I'm gonna go can't remember how high you can get your HP up to in this one. I think... I think 400 might be the max. I'd have to look it up. Hey, they just keep coming. Guess we better see if the legends are true. Magic lamp, my first wish. Get rid of these heartless. Hello! The great genie of the lamp. Stand back, kids. Genie of the lamp coming through. Ain't nothing I can't make right as rain. Well, if we had any rain in the desert. But enough dry jokes. One heartless disappearing act coming right up. Bada bing. And the heartless are gone. Gosh. Why didn't you call him in the first place? You only get three wishes. You didn't want to... S it's not that simple, you see. I couldn't have said it better myself, but I will anyway. I'm strictly limited to three wishes per master. Any ixnay on the wish... Ish any ixnay on the wishing for more wishes. So you've got two wishes left? Better use them carefully. I've got to get back to the palace somehow, but with all these heartless... 
Hey, Sora, we're headed that way too, so why don't we go with Aladdin? Sounds like a plan. That would be great. Thanks a lot. And we got the key of beginnings. I didn't hit him first. Damn it. Looks like we have a couple shadows. I think these are called bandits. Um, got a couple of those. Got a ladder card. A couple green requiems. Uh, yellow nocturnes, I think, is what those ones are called. Could be wrong on that. I know it's red lanterns. It might be Yellow Nocturne and then Green Requiems. Tranquil Darkness. Yeah. Oop, we got another Cure card. What level is that? Four. We can get rid of it. We could throw this at a Heartless. Hello? Any Heartless? Bye bye Alright. Looks just like a whole bunch of Yellow Nocturnes and some Green Requiems. Get rid of them because they heal. Nope, I'm healing. Bye bye. That wasn't too bad. None of these have been specific to this area, though. Let's see. Get rid of the yellow nocturne. Yeah, we got bandits again, but. Not seeing anything specific to this area yet. Fire. And... Say goodbye. Yeah. Lasting days. It's a level seven. It's not bad. Yeah. Goodbye. You can destroy the stands to get Mooka points. Or health. Not XP though, unfortunately. As much as I would love to get XP for smashing stands. Looks like our way out's through that door, so we'll head up this way. See if we can find any more Heartless, which we can. He doesn't seem bothered with me though, surprisingly. Where is he at? There he is. Goodbye. None of these battles are being unique. I'm getting a lot of the same ones. Why did fire work at recovering him? That one's weird. You're a green nocturne. If I used cure on you, of course that would make sense that it cured you, but... Uh, that one was weird. Last one? I remember these mobs being a lot larger. Moments reprieve. Okay, well, it was just the first room. Alright, here's a slightly different one. Got a whole room full of bandits now. Done and done. 
Tranquil Darkness. It's not a bad one. Alright, I think that's all the... I just need to stop over on the mouth. Anything else? No. You sure? Looks like it. Okay. We need a level one card or above. I think I'll go use a roulette room. We haven't used one yet. What is a roulette room? Hello. Large bodies usually appear in a room regardless of where they're at, if I remember correctly. Here's a slightly new one. Alright, we're gonna get into some new battles in this room, it appears. Get a ladder in there. There we go. And goodbye. We got a level 2 roulette room to replace the one we just got rid of. Fair enough. Alright. Okay, moving on. Did I get a roulette? I did get a roulette. Now, a roulette essentially. Can you stop, please? I need to get behind you, sir. That's it. There we go. That was irritating. Your cards. Okay. So a roulette gives us the choice of a map card. Now, I saw a six teeming darkness room, which wouldn't be bad. A teeming darkness room essentially just gives you a crap ton of heartless to battle, which is good for leveling up. Level 9 Moogle room, we got a couple count bounties. Moments reprieve. I think there was a times 3. No, that's just a times 2. I'm gonna go for the teeming darkness room, and if, if not, I'll get another heartless one. Teeming darkness. Not bad. What else have we got in here? Any other heartless want to come play? You sprung the deal. I lost out on that HP. That gets rid of you. We got another roulette. Fun. Alright, so. Ooh, we leveled up. Nice. Heal. How'd you miss? He was right in front of you. Let's see, what do we have? Got a premium room. We got a level 7 moments reprieve. That's not bad. Uh, we'll go for that one. 
Okay, we got a level 9 calm bounty. Fair enough. You up again. We can almost add a hundred more CP points. Because I've not updated it recently. Oop, oop, what we got there? Just a kingdom key. Nothing special there. first because they're so irritating. Got a couple of gargoyles. There we go. Now Aladdin gives you a bunch of Moogle points too, so if you're looking to grind for Moogle points, Aladdin's world will probably do you a lot of good. And it'll help you level up, too, so if you're wanting a bunch of Moogle points, definitely come to Agrabah. We got another Teeming Darkness World. A couple more column bounties. Moogle Room. We'll get this one, though. Level 9 Looming Darkness. A relentless onslaught from the Heartless. Great for leveling up. Might not have actually picked up that card. I didn't think that one would hit. Alright. Well, I would use Aladdin, but he can only attack targets on the ground or very close to the ground. So, that wouldn't have been useful. Uh, let's see here. What do we have here now? Saw another Teeming Darkness room that was level 0, though there is a number 3. I actually want to go for the level 5 Moments Retrieve. You never know when you'll need to save in here. Keeping a bunch of moments reprieves can be good. Done and done. What do we have here? Another level oop, level nine teaming darkness. Ah, I missed it. I was a little early. Strong initiative level six isn't bad though. We got a lot of green cards. Got some moogle points there. Tranquil Darkness. Okay. Anyone else want to fight? Don't think I've been over this way yet. 